Many of you today probably feel the same as I do. There are a lot of tears in our hearts. At one of Kiev's largest evangelical churches, Pastor Anatoly Kaluzhny tries to comfort a grieving congregation. To be honest, I am not euphoric. My heart is aching because our nation has paid a big price in blood. Ukrainians have been mourning the more than 100 people killed in clashes between riot police and protesters. And that sadness settles over a country facing dramatic political changes. After three months of protests, anti-government demonstrators are now in power. On Saturday, Ukraine's parliament stunned the nation by voting overwhelmingly to impeach President Viktor Yanukovych, who then fled the capital city. Hours later, members of parliament picked Alexander Turchinov, a prominent evangelical Christian, as interim president until new elections in May. Christians were praying on Independence Square. We were praying in our churches. People around the world were praying for us, and God did a miracle. Ukraine is a new country. And to give you a sense of just how dramatic the changes have been, a few days ago, this entire street was completely filled by the so-called Ukrainian Berkut, the police. Today, you have dozens of men. You can take a look all the way down. These are ordinary folks who have taken up position in front of the parliament. What happens next is very uncertain. As lawmakers scramble to put together a coalition government, skepticism abounds. That includes former Prime Minister Julia Tymoshenko, free after spending the last 30 months in prison. We need to totally change the government. We need a whole new set of leaders. We don't need the rich oligarchs back in power. They need to go. Ukraine's neighbor, Russia, closely watches the changes. It has huge economic ties here, and President Vladimir Putin has publicly talked about bringing Ukraine back into its political orbit. The protesters instead want closer ties with Europe. On Sunday, America warned Russia not to even think about sending troops into Ukraine. Back at Pastor Kaluzhny's church, a plea for reconciliation after months of turmoil. We need to unite because the society is divided, east and west, north and south. We need to come together and make very important decisions in the days ahead. George Thomas, CBN News, Kiev, Ukraine.